Hello and salutations once again, and this is Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter. Now, Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter was developed by Warthog Games, which is uh, XEA personnel also made private here too. They specialize in flight in space flight sims, but um, one second. Oh, they specialize mostly in space flight sims, but. Uh, Pretty much like if you check the Wikipedia article, it's mostly just children's titles on Looney Tunes uh, intellectual property. Now this game came out in June 2003 for the PS2 and the Xbox, and January 2004 for the PC with uh, mixed reviews. It was like generally above average, probably like 6 out of 10. Now I haven't played this game before, I haven't seen anything about this game before, and uh, all I do know is that number one, the audio is turned down quite a bit. So, I mean, like, to the absolute minimum it probably could be so, if it seems a little bit loud, it's because it's a loud game. The other thing I noticed is that motion blur is off because when I turn it on, look at this. Look at this. Just look at that guy in the background moving around there. That's... Like, there's motion blur, and then there's just, like being drunk off your ass. Alright, that said, let's get started. It is the year 2412. Humans have terraformed much of the solar system, and they're continuing search for colonies and resources. Mankind discover the Velikan and Jaldara, intelligent alien races who are native to the nearby Della and Hasali systems. In return for land rights, the newly discovered aliens are introduced to the trappings of humans. Man, why would they? How, why would they even know? Like, wouldn't they rather have their own? The three races there? have become integrated, trading and working side by side. With the human systems now fully colonized, both business and government broaden their horizons. Virgin territory is sought. The Tannen Corporation launches a series of probes, and within months, the Wagner system is discovered. A huge chain of planetoids whose solar orbits make them perfect for colonization. The big companies stampede into the new territory, squabbling over land and mining rights, leaving the smuggling cartels and pirate Oh! To counter crime, rest in peace, headphone users. Are established. Sponsored by the major corporations to safeguard their interests, the enforcers must also protect law-abiding settlers and traders. This stipulation comes from the High Senate government, who in turn create an elite military corps. Their job is to monitor the enforcers and tackle the more hazardous criminal problem. These elite soldiers are called Rangers. How long we gotta stand here and pose like this? I'm telling you. In a couple of years, all the mining and industry is going to be under corporate control. The days of small business are over, and good riddance to it. We've got bigger fish to fry than bandits bothering settlers. I heard that some player called Conrad Reinhold has even got members of the Senate on his payroll. Ugh, I'd like to rip that goon another. This is Control to Ranger Flight 13. We have a potential Code 4 situation in yeah, at least, yeah, this is ahead of its control. time that you could we'll at least skip cutscenes. Greer, I need you back here. We may have a situation on our hands. Griffin, you take the controls. I'm on it. Griffin, what do we got? I'm picking up three crafts straight ahead. We got a Talon cargo carrier, the Fortitude, and docked with it as a shuttle. The third ship I can't get an ID on. It looks like nothing I've seen before. I'll call for backup. Oh, damn! We lost our comms link with control. We're being jammed! It's Raspberry. Only one man would dare give me the Raspberry. Griffin, find us a docking point.
Docking procedure completed. Okay, team. You know the drill. Let's go. You too, Griffin. She only holds the pistol because she's a girl. Then again, she doesn't have a helmet, so she's not expendable. What the hell? Someone sealed off the damn airlock. Griffin, you find the control room and open it up. We'll move on ahead. Am I just gonna be the Ramirez of this game? All right. Primary fire. Secondary fire. And, alright, I'm pressing one. Alright, two, three. Oh, they did bind them to key bind. They did have uh, key binds here, okay. And for the curious, yes, this is a drum fed minigun. Uh, drum fed Gatling gun assault rifle. I don't know why it has all these barrels. I just do not know. Oh, thanks for waiting for me, guys. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... And it's like you all right, yeah, scroll through it and you and you wait. Also, this is apparently some sort of revolver laser gun, I suppose. Yeah, it's a it's a uh it's a six-shot revolver with 12 rounds in the cylinder. And we got ourselves some uh, wooden crates. In space. As you do. Pursue him! Let's face him. Steady. Get on his trail. Let's turn him into chop beer. Oh, you are very Russian. Very Russian. Yeah, stop. Also, apparently we have, uh, let's see, health and regenerating shields. Eat this. Feels like there's a very slight amount of mouse acceleration on this. Which is interesting because there's no mouse acceleration options. But I mean, it's like, it's an early mid-aughts console port. 
let's put it that way. It's a, like an early arts console port, which is pretty much sums up everything about what this game is gonna be. So there's a- okay, so there's probably like a grenade launcher secondary fire on this thing. He's like a ninja! Oh wait, no, he's just- You just disappeared. I, I have no sense of object permanence. That is a really lame grenade, lo grenade arc on this. an alternate route. Who here likes jumping? Oh boy, that's kind of a floaty jump there, isn't it? This doesn't exactly control the best of uh, any game I played, but like I said, early odds console port. Moves more quietly. Yeah, it's important to move quietly because I guess stealth mechanics. Hmm. Who knows? Where is the human? Oh man, it's. Just See here. I've lost this set. Uh, probably some sort of shotgun. I'm assuming. Did you hear that? Ah! Oh boy! Ah! Look at the spread on this thing. Ah! I wasn't even aiming at this guy, and I managed to uh, pop him. This is, all right, let me just, all right, use a little bit of a test. Okay, we're right here, right there, fire. That's not good. Like, it's not the Doom 3 shotgun, but then again, nothing is as bad as the Doom 3 shotgun. What was that? I'm killing you, human. Oh, it's, uh, oh, okay, so we just, like, load more shells into it. To compensate for the fact that the accuracy is total garbage. Adios, 
Oh, that was a nice. I don't know what it means when you flash red, but I'll just keep shooting you. That seems to, uh... Alright, grenades. How much you want to bet it's probably like, uh... Impact. Nope. Where the hell is that cockroach? This is impact, probably. Get after him! He's escaping! He just disappeared! He just disapp- Oh my god, is it- Alright, we're not- probably not even like 10 minutes into this and I'm already like- It's like they walk out of view and- Let's face him! line of sight for five seconds and it's just like whoa he's gone must be some sort of magician this is gonna be a ride I can tell you already oh they're flashbangs Looks like it was close. What? He's around here somewhere. Everyone's probably going to die, but Richter, hmm. I've opened up the airlock. Good work. Come across anything? Various hostiles. One thing's for sure, these aren't our usual perps. What about you? Nothing yet. Okay, you get back to the ship and prep us for takeoff.
Oh boy. What the hell is going on? Warning. Critical hull breach. Life support systems compromised. Um, yep, lone survivor. And he becomes a bounty hunter. Because it's like the only job he knows how to do. Hmm. No, it's just like, oh, you know, I've I you know I've lost my crew and then it's just like I'm going to become a grizzled wanderer. I mean, when you're voiced by Henry Rollins, that's pretty much your only option. What was that? Uh oh. They're leaving without me. I'm guessing enemies also have shields, and that's the flashes. Not so much of that idea. Can we crouch and jump? I mean, this ship has suffered a critical hull breach, but we'll totally still fight you. The terrible Russian accent, huh? You're dealing with space Russians. We're almost universally terrorists. Because I suppose this- I, I guess this game was made during the Cold War or something. What do you mean the Cold War ended in 1991? How can something with so many barrels feel so limp? That's it. And it's like so, it's just like ridiculous. It's got six barrels, minigun sound effects, but it just hits like a freaking wet noodle. Uh, oh, no.
Will this get us killed? Not if we, uh... No, we're fine. It's, we've got shields. Let me aim this six barrel Gatling assault rifle at your head. Hold down the trigger and just like. Maybe kill you after 10 or 20 bullets. Oh, so he basically just left everyone to die? Despite your claims of wormholes and alien vessels, the charges against you still stand. The fact remains that you were ordered to hold your position. Who ever heard of wormholes so, and alien abandoning ships your in post the future with the aliens and wormholes? Unit. It is therefore my duty to pass the following judgment. Mace Griffin, the High Council finds you guilty as charged. The sentence is ten years. The place of incarceration will be the Kassath Penal Colony. Haven't you clowns listened to a word I said? It was a setup. They were waiting for us. You will accept the Council's decision. Take him away. 